so good morning everyone uh on this busy sunday morning i welcome you all on the behalf of uh, cvc con alpha series and this cvc con alpha series is designed for introduction of uh, any new technology new modality into the medical field and today we are going to discuss such a very, very interesting modality uh, for the treatment of uh, osteoarthritis of knee joint and that is a genicular artery embolization so root of cause this very important word in anybody's life and uh, root of cause this word is more famous and more popular into the engineering field rather than the medical field but if we find root of cause of any problem then success is very handy so today we are going to discuss the root of cause for osteoarthritis of knee joint traditionally what we believe that to wear and tear phenomena it leads to the osteoarthritis of knee joint but it's true but along with this wear and tear as a one another uh, uh, cause is a chronic inflammation continuously this inflammation process going on within this uh, knee joint and it leads to uh, uh, further cartilage damage and along with that the new angiogenesis occurs so what is the new angiogenesis new angiogenesis is a hypervascularity developed into this uh, due to this chronic inflammation and uh, uh, this chronic inflammation leads to the <clears throat> new formation of these micro vessels and this newly formed micro vessel continuously releasing the cytokines within this joint and because of the cytokines continuous destruction of this joint going on so now uh, this what is a chronic inflammation basically so chronic inflammation is a culprit in many diseases like macular degeneration macular degeneration is also very common disease and uh, basically yeah, there is a continuously inflammation process going on within the retina and uh, in this retina is a these a uh, uh, newly formed these micro vessels uh, 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 continuously leads to inflammation and damage in to the retina and it leads to hampering the vision and the macular degeneration treatment is also depends on preventing this chronic inflammation so they observe these uh, these newly formed micro vessels not only macular degeneration uh, alzheimer's disease also even these atherosclerosis changes into the blood vessels these all diseases are witnesses of chronic inflammation and in this covid 19 pandemic era uh, all this uh, there is no antiviral medicine for covid 19 virus right but all this treatment is planned and designed to prevent the inflammatory reaction of the body so inflammatory reaction is also very important thing whether we whether we use a steroid for uh, uh, as anti inflammatory or another uh, medicine like remdesivir that is immune suppressant for covid 19 but all these are basically preventing the inflammatory reaction and cytokine storms creating due to the inflammatory reaction and uh, it help us in to treat the covid 19 <clears throat> similarly for uh, genicular artery embolization it is also going to help us to prevent the chronic inflammation into this knee joint and uh, uh, further damaging the uh, underlying the knee joint so let's understand first how this genicular artery embolization helpful for uh, the, for uh, for uh, osteoarthritis of knee joint so basic concept of uh, osteoarthritis of knee joint basically there is a cartilage which is cushion give the cushioning effect between this two bone and uh, this cartilage gradually erodes and it reduces the joint space and uh, because of this reduction of the joint space friction between these two bones occur and it leads to the pain now pain is a very dominant complaint for the uh, for any patients uh, it starts with the morning stiffness but gradually this pain leads to uh pain occurs when the movement of the joint and it uh, pain reduces into the resting positions along with this pain uh if uh, this swelling develop over the knee joint this is due to the synovial effusion some hard swelling is due to the osteoarthritis and many this grinding sensation also occurs while we are using this joint 
these all due to the osteoarthritis of the knee joint. But in all the patient, dominant complaint is a pain, and because of the pain, there's a restrictive mobility of the patient. And uh, if the pain is relieved, then the patient's quality of life is improved significantly. There are many factors which are affecting this disease: aging, weight, definitely genders. Women are more affected than men. And some professional hazards for the marathon runner and athletes, which we are, which they are, uh, and they are using, overusing the knee joint. It's very easy to diagnose osteoarthritis. Even the plain X-ray gives uh, lots of information. By reduce, by uh, recognizing the joint space narrowing, we can diagnose that osteoarthritis person is going on. Even the staging also very accurately done on the plain X-ray. But USC and MRI also very important modality. Uh, by using the power Doppler, uh, we can define the hypervascularity of the synovium. Similarly, in MRI, there are lots of uh, other signs which shows that the uh, chronic inflammation process going on within the joint. So, uh, for uh, osteoarthritis of knee joint, this play, this investigation is very important, and particularly when we are planning for genital. Uh, uh, genital artery embolization, uh, power Doppler, and the MRI are the very important tool to define severity of chronic inflammation within the joint. So there are total four four stages of uh, osteoarthritis. Grade four, grade one is a mild one, and grade four is a severe one. In the grade four, there is no joint space, there is no cartilage left, so pain is maximum into a grade four stage. Now, currently, in osteoarthritis of knee joint, the treatment divides into the, into the two parts. One is the operative, and second one is the non-operative. In non-operative segment, when the patient first complained of pain and morning stiffness into the joint, then we prescribe some medicines for painkiller and cartilage rejuvenation, and uh, also prescribe some uh, you know, physiotherapy and. Uh, Weight loss. See, weight loss is very important. I'm going to describe you why it is more important. And another non-operative treatment is intra-articular injection of steroids or PRP. These injections are really helpful for temporary, but underlying, uh, unless you treat the underlying the etiology, underlying the root of cause, uh, pain is going to recur. And uh, what happened that all these non-operative treatment fails and only option is operation, that is a total joint replacement surgery. So till date, there is no other option is available between this non-operative and operative treatment. I mean, non-operative treatment, I give more weightage to this uh, uh, weight loss. What happened that if you reduce the uh, weight of one kg, then it is going to reduce the uh, fourfold pressure into the knee joint. So by putting the effort of 1x, we are getting the result of 4x. So obesity and weight reduction is important, very, very important into the osteoarthritis of knee joint patient. So in, uh, uh, in this uh, osteoarthritis of, uh, arthritis of knee joint patients, when the patient starts complaining pain, we try all these non-operative Treatment giving the painkillers and some uh, intra-articular injections or physiotherapy. But at one stage, all these uh, non-operative treatments stops working. And then the only option for the patient till date, that is a, a replacement of the joint. It's a major surgery and you are going to lose your nasal joint. Uh, till date, there is no other option available in between this non-operative and operative. But... Uh, there's a young uh, uh, interventional radiologist, Dr. Yuji Okuno. He is from Japan and he has uh, published his uh, research first time in 2014. And he has given the hope that genicular artery embolization, it gives uh, relief into pain and it, it stops the cartilage destruction within the joint. His first paper published in 2014 and later on many papers published. Recently, one paper published in 2020. All these different papers suggest you of uh, the pain reduction after the genicular artery embolization is 86 percent and 86 uh, percent in the first six months, and uh, at, uh, follow up after, after three years also 
80% pain is reduced uh, after the genital artery embolization. So this procedure is very uh, good, successful. So now, what is the reason how the genital artery embolization works? So let's find out the root of cause. Traditionally, we are thinking that wear and tear is the only culprit for the osteoarthritis of knee joint. If we use more knee joint, then cartilage damage is going to happen. But this is true. But along with the wear and tear, there is a chronic inflammatory process is going on within the joint. Let's understand this vicious cycle. So what happened? That uh, first cartilage damage occur and because of the cartilage damage occur, uh, this uh, inflammatory process starts within the body. And uh, in, when the inflammatory process starts, the body releases the cytokines. These cytokines are two types. One which is uh, helping to rebuilding the tissue and uh, Another cytokine is just opposite to it, that is a helping to destroying the tissue or the pathogens. In layman language, we can consider that uh, these cytokines or this inflammatory reaction is just like our Indian army. Indian army fighting at the, uh, at the bottom with the enemies and simultaneously it built the bridges over the river, it built the roads over the, uh, over the uh, into the border area. So, balance between these two is very important. Cytokines are two types, but the balance between the bad type and the uh, good type, it's very important. Unfortunately, what happened into the chronic inflammation? Uh, into the chronic inflammation, this neoangiogenesis occurs. What is the neoangiogenesis? That is a newly formed uh, micro vessels. And uh, these are very important uh, process of uh, chronic inflammation that uh, this neoangiogenesis occur. It leads to the hypervascularity into the localized region. And because of this hypervascularity, continuously cytokines release into that region. And these cytokines going to damage further and further the cartilage. And so when this cartilage damage continues, it gives another signals for inflammatory response. So there is a vicious cycle going on uh, continuously and uh, to prevent this cycle, we have to prevent this uh, hypervascularity. So for that, if we embolize these newly formed micro vessels, which is shown over here, see these are hypervascular, these are uh, newly formed micro vessels, these are main vessels and uh, here is a and this neoangiogenesis and the my hypervascularity. If we target these vessels, if we embolize these vessels, then this vicious cycle stops. Chronic inflammation process stops within the within the joint, and it helps to prevent further damage to cartilage, and uh, it is helpful for uh, for the process of the it helpful for stopping the further process of osteoarthritis. There are many studies which suggest you of increased vascularity uh, due to the chronic inflammation and it, uh, this process is going on continuously. So, selective genital artery embolization is very important to break the cycle to prevent the cartilage damage and uh, it is helpful. So, let's see the examples now. So, in the, the first example, there is a patient uh, over here, we can see there is a mild to moderate osteoarthritis. The joint space is still preserved, but patient has continuous pain since three years and he has taken lots of uh, uh, non-operative treatment, but still patients complaining the pain. Now it's MRI done and MRI shows here the synovial effusion uh, in near the medial condyle of the femur and at the same side when uh, Selective genicular angiography done, this shows the hypervascularity. So, combination of the MRI is a sign of chronic inflammation and it confirms on the selective angiography. These are uh, these highly combination and highly indi uh, these are good indication for genicular artery embolization. If this hypervascularity is uh, embolized by um, small particles, if this vascularity disappears like in this case post-operatively. So here uh, what we have done is uh, in, in this case that is uh, uh, we embolize these micro vessels so hypervascularity disappears 
so chronic inflammatory process disappears it stops over here so further cartilage damage is stopped now in the same patient there is a graph for the uh, changes of pain score at the day of embolization uh, pain reduces the 50% on the same day and gradually over the period of uh, next few four months few months the pain is completely disappeared so what is the reason of uh, this sudden and uh, and uh, sudden reduction of the pain so this is very important etiology to understand because of this neoangiogenesis along with this newly formed micro vessels there is a sensory nerves also developed and when we target these micro vessels when we embolize it when we uh, observe these uh, micro vessels they along with these micro vessels this sensory nerves which develop with these uh, micro vessels these also destroy and these sensory nerves are the main culprit to send the pain signals from the joint to the pain so patients uh, relieved by this uh, pain from the same day at least 50% so this is a beauty of the procedure as i told you that uh, any osteoarthritis of knee joint patients basically dominant complaint is a pain if you relieve the pain from the patients patient lives a very happy and healthy life with the same natural joint so uh, genical artery embolization is a blessing for lots of patient now for embolization dr yuji okuno suggested of uh, uh, imipenem as a embolic material see there are two embolic material one is a temporary and second is a permanent dr rosil of uh, in the follow up lecture is going to explain you in the, into details but uh, uh, dr okuno has suggested of imipenem which is widely used as a antibiotic but when these antibiotics mix up with the contrast it create 10 to 17 micron particles and these particles are ideal for blocking these micro vessels in side effect there is no side effect observed while we are using this imipenem temporary embolic material but uh, while we are using this uh, uh, permanent uh, embolic agent so there is there is there is side effect while we are using the permanent embolic agent and uh, local skin necrosis or peripheral temporary peripheral numbness is observed because of the non target embolization this is another example while we are uh, taking a shoot into the superficial femoral artery these all genital arterial branch uh, appears but it's very difficult to define the hypervascularity for so for that uh, we have to do the selective angiography like in here uh, there is a in here there is a uh, supero lateral genicular arterial branch is uh, selective angiography there and uh, with this angiography we are able to find out this vascular flux over here this is a triangular area shows hypervascularity this is a newly formed vessels over here and patient has a pain in the same region and mri also shows uh, this chronic inflammation in the same region so this is ideal case and uh, once you embolize uh, these patients with this uh, uh, temporary embolic material this hypervascularity disappears over here like over this case and uh, chronic inflammation stops and patient's pain also disappears and patient's quality of life also improves without any operation is very this is genital artery embolization is very important to see it turns in the muscle anesthesia patient has to stay for one day from morning to evening and it done with one needle puncture no cut no surgery no and you preserve your natural joint so which are the indication for genital artery embolization definitely this should be done into chronic pain the so pain should be more than 3 months old not responding to other uh, other non operational or non operative treatment like physiotherapy and medicine and uh, spontaneous pain including night pain and rest pain these are the very good uh, indicator for uh, finding out the abnormal new vessels at the origin so if the if uh, this complaint is present into the patient then uh, we can find out uh, we can say that there is a chronic inflammation process going on within the joint 
and these are the ideal candidates for genital artery embolization. Even the local tenderness over the joint, it also suggests the of this hypervascularity arising from the chronic inflammation. And uh, pain occurs during the climbing of the stairs. See, so these very important tools because when the pain occurs while uh, uh, walking on the flat surface, so that is a very advanced disease, grade 4 disease. But while pain occurs only during the climbing of stairs, this suggests you of mild to moderate osteoarthritis and for this genital artery embolization is very good to have. Definitely young age group patients where the joint, uh, their natural joint preservation is the main concern, genital artery embolization is really helpful. And for the extremely old age group uh, patient where the surgery itself is a very high risky. For uh, this kind of patient also, genital artery embolization is very useful. And definitely patients who does not want to go for a joint replacement for surgery, for them, there is a really blessing a procedure. Uh, they, they got relieved by, uh, by pain due to the osteoarthritis knee joint with this procedure. So now let's see the contraindication of this procedure. Definitely acute pain is not treated by this procedure. Infection with the joint, rheumatic arthritis is the uh, is not uh, uh, indication for this procedure. Acute traumatic pain is avoided, and uh, severe arthritis changes into the leg vessel, particularly super superficial femoral artery. Uh, then this procedure should not be done uh, for into the patients. So many of my orthopedic colleague friends are asking me, will it replace to TKI? And uh, I always tell them, TKI uh, uh, this procedure is uh, helpful for mild to moderate osteoarthritis. So TKI is not going to obsolete. But it's too early to say, let's see how the future unfolds. But genital artery emulation is very useful for many patients. And if you ask me what is the single important criteria for the patient selection, so genital artery embolization is particularly uh, meant for chronic inflammation. So we have to find out the chronic inflammatory process within the joint. And for that, uh, two important tools. One is a tenderness at the, at the side and uh, in MRI, there is a sign of whiteys at the same side. See, these are the two important criteria. If these are present, I would recommend for genital artery embolization. If you do the selective genital artery angiography, definitely hypervascularity present in the same area. And if we go for embolization, then patient will improve symptomatically. So in conclusion, we have seen lots of uh, 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 literatures which are suggesting of uh, more than 80% being relieved with this uh, uh, genital artery embolization. So, uh, previously there was no option available between these uh, non-operative and operative treatment, but uh, with promising results of uh, genital artery embolization, it has given an option for, uh, and it has given a good alternative for operative treatment. Uh, and particularly, <coughs> genital artery embolization, it, uh, it uh, treating the root cause of uh, osteoarthritis of knee joint, so it is going to be very beneficial to all the patients. So thank you so much. And uh, 